On this video, I'm going to reproduce the Lando hairstyle for all you guys with curly hair. To start at this haircut, I'm going to be using my Coco clippers with the number two guard. As you can see, I'm moving my clipper from the bottom up to the waistline that I want to create. As you get closer to the waistline, take off with the clippers. Lando's haircut has a graduation kind of on this area. I think this is perfect when you have curly wavy hair on the top. To continue with the fade, I'm going to use the guard with the number one and a half. And I'm trying to work with this area on the haircut. As always, get tight on the beginning and scoop up at the end. To clean up the hairline, I'm going to use the guard with the 0.5. Using the sear over cone, I will blend this area. After I'm done with that, I like to use the same technique with the thinning shears to blend it even more. Use the trimmers as is needed to clean up the whole perimeter on the haircut. Check out the new Hyper Veloce by Coco the same color as papaya as McLaren. To cut the top area, I'm going to use the French cutting technique. For this particular style, it's very important that you leave this area very long. A lot of you have been asking me for curly hairstyles and I think this is amazing. You can do a lot of variations from this hairstyle, like Lando does, shorter or longer. Once you're done cutting this area and leave it longer, from this point back it could be shorter. So 8 or 7 fingers on this area and about 5 to 6 on this. First I cut the hair on the top with horizontal sections. When I get to this point, I move to vertical sections. As you can see, I continue with a straight line so it's pretty much a square on the top. A square haircuts work great with curly hair because it makes the shape very nice and doesn't get super super round. To cut the waistline, I'm going to move all the hair to one side and follow the same guide that I have around the head that I created when I did my first haircut. Using the point cutting technique will help you to create a smoother transition in between the top and the bottom. As you can see, curly hair is always going to lose length, so make sure you leave enough length on the top as it comes back and just look proportional. To create some more texture onto the hairstyle, I'm going to use the thinning shears and going on an angle. And these are the thinning shears with the wider teeth. This is going to create different lengths on the ends, so it looks more natural. If your hair is not super curly, you can actually trim a little bit the corners so it doesn't get too heavy on this side. If it's curly, no, because it's going to shrink up more. This haircut is going to look great on any face type with the exception of very long faces. Use a little bit of wax or any product that you like to define the curls. You can let the hair dry by itself if you decide that. Or you can actually use the diffuser so you can give it a little more volume and texture. With curly hair, the less you touch the hair, the better until it's dry. Just let the product do his thing. I'm 
And here you have the 360 view Orlando's hairstyle. This is Angel Del Solar, the hairbender. <laughs>